Hey guys, um, Kristen here. Ooh, there's lots of birds and it's loud. Um, but we're headed back to, right now, to Quintala. They called us back because one of our upgrades that we chose, um, they're not able to do. So we have to go back and sign more papers. Where we live, where our rental is, is relatively close to um, the house that we purchased. So we just follow this road for... Maybe 10 minutes. Follow this road for 10 minutes and then you kind of get into like, it looks like you're leaving Calgary, but then there's one more community. And our house is going to be right out these windows. They're the first um, set of townhouses to be built. And there's already like some pipes coming out of the ground, <laughs> which is so cool. Hey everybody, don't mind the jacked up hair. It's sunny outside, but it's also very windy here. Okay. These are our tips to how you can be young and... Why not just young and successful? Okay, young and successful. I am a hobo. I'm an undercover hobo. Not anymore. I save money, so I collect all. I collect cans. Yeah, you see that that black woman you seen on the street a couple of days ago, walking around Calgary with the, the Walmart cart and the garbage bags on the side. That was her. <laughs> okay, so basically, I'm saying I'm an undercover hobo because here in Alberta, you can get your deposit back for any drink. For bottles. Any bottles. And you couldn't do that in Toronto, so I wasn't familiar with that. But when I came here, I was like, oh my gosh, for that Sprite can, I can get 10 cents? Woohoo! Like, I was like loving it. Because in Toronto, the way that if I buy something that's discounted, as in clo clothing, I buy clothing and it doesn't fit. <laughs> like, I bought these um, track pants and they, they didn't fit. They were too small. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't try them on. And there was no returns at that store. What did I do with those pants? Did I throw them away? No. I cut them into shorts. <laughs> They're little hobo shorts, but I wear those hobo shorts in the house because I don't want to waste money. But, but we don't have a sewing machine, did you? No, I left them jagged. Okay. Jagged. I left them jagged like a hobo. But Okay, the next tip is no debts, no problems. Josh, tell them about paying off debts. You pay it off. Debt-free life. You have to sacrifice things. Like all your friends are going out for beers, you're not going. All your, you know, your workmates and stuff, they want to all pool money together and buy a pizza dinner or something. You're not doing that, no. Your lunches are always packed on hand with you when you show up on the work site or wherever you're working what bills we could and uh, cost of living we got it to shrink really down 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 and we took like you know obscene amounts of money <laughs> and put it on our debt and we're we're debt free so number three will be um, you have to work, hard. work hard and I mean we did it I I love to work like multiple jobs but I mean she literally that's it loves to work I love to work so I worked um, my management job that I I had when I came over here and then I worked um, a part-time job as well now I have a job um, for an insurance company where it pays me really well hours we worked 48 hours this week um, so we work hard we Or is save, save, save. Um, just because you work hard doesn't mean that um, you're going to be able to see that money unless you bank it, unless you put that money in the bank. And that's what we do. And not only just banking it, but actually keeping track of where your money is going. The houses went up so much. So we were one of the first people to buy in the buy these houses. Yeah. So what we paid for the house is a lot lower than what they're selling for right now. I'm, I'm actually shocked. If not the first, we were, because we bought the first day the house went on sale. Mm -hmm. So. Right, so, um, yeah, <laughs> should we say the number? No. Um, sure, yeah. Okay, so she estimates that the, the, the properties are being sold for about $32,000 more. Um, at first I was like 3000 
no thirty two thousand dollars more than what we paid and the house isn't even built yet even in we're not even going to be in until september october depending on if they're on schedule with with uh, construction well they were saying october november now yeah now they're saying october november so we'll see when we can get in